Hi, welcome to my channel Ruby Net Crochet Tejido. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make these cute Easter bunnies. They're very easy to do. I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of materials you're gonna need to make it. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe and click on the little bell. That way you get notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I make my videos in Spanish and English. If you receive a Spanish video and you wanna see in English, go to the main page of my YouTube channel that you will find the English version in there. To make this little bunny, this is the materials that I'm gonna use. The color of this one is a leftover yarn, a light gray from Loops and Thread, impeccable, medium four. But for this one, I'm gonna use the white because I want them to be different color. And again, it's the Loops and Thread impeccable, impeccable, medium four. And for the little tail, I'm gonna use this leftover from Bernard's Softy Chunky. If you don't have a thicker yarn like this, you can use the same one. But I will take more yarn to find to do the little tail, as just it's easier with that since I have this leftover and it's bulky six. A pom pom maker. If you don't have a pom pom maker and you want to buy them, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. I bought them at um, in Amazon. And the same for the eyes. Their buttons. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below as well. You can use them for clothes or you can use them for eyes for little different features that you make. Different projects. I'm gonna use two scissors because it's easier for me, but you can use one. And I have these two size spoons here <laughs> to mark the ears. You see, this one for the bigger part, this one is for the smaller part. And the smaller one I will trim on the side a little bit, that way they are like this. And then you're gonna need some of this. Felt, <laughs> white and pink I gonna use, but if you don't have uh, pink and you want to use all white, you can do it like that. But you only need a little piece. This is more than enough to do the ears and the little nose. Um, a hot glue gun. That's glue. I think that's it. It's very easy, very fast to do. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to make the bunny. And the next one, I will teach you how to make this little chicken. I'm gonna start by making the pom-poms. I'm gonna make three sizes: a medium one for the head, a bigger one for the body, and then a small one for the tail. So you can use any of these a smaller one. And like I mentioned before, if you don't have pom-pom maker, I'm gonna leave a link here. You're gonna see an eye, you click on the eye, and it'll bring you to a video that I have where you can make the pom-poms with uh, cardboard, cut out of cardboard, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do one pom-pom and then you can do the other two exactly the same.
this was the three different sizes that I use because this one is too big for the little uh, tail so I use the smallest now I'm gonna put these three together to create our little bunny now we're gonna tie a knot between these two to attach the body and the head Once you finish, it will look like this. Now we're gonna uh, attach that little tail, and you have to make sure that you attach nice and low, and on the top like that. So you put it like this, and then you'll find low in the back. And that will look like this. Okay. I already have the hair glue ready, and I will do that now. Before I attach the eyes, I'm gonna trim a little bit more the head, the pom pom for the head. That way it's a little bit more like this one. Now we're gonna attach the eyes and you're gonna place them around here, not too low, around here. You'll put a little uh, body in front of you and then you'll put them a little bit higher around here. And then one finger apart from each other, that's what I have here, around the finger apart, you know, like that. You see, and the little eyes are a little high in the top. Now is the most difficult part for me is tracing the ears. So with the back of the spoons, I gonna I mark here because I already traced the recording in Spanish and this one. And what I did was I gonna show you in here. I don't have to trace it again. Is I mark in, in here and in this one here. And then when I put them together, you see this one is shorter than the other one and you want that and you look at the velcro if you have one side that look more like the right side and the other one the wrong side you will trace it in the wrong side that way when you put them together you don't get the mark of the uh, markers on the front so what I did I place it here with a marker I'll trace it all the way around and I did the same to the other side and then with this one I did the same the mark in here is the border and then I trace the two of them and now I'm gonna cut them and this one I'll have to trim a little bit little more narrow and that way it's like this one okay but remember if you want long ears you can do it long if you want short you can do it short and if you don't have a spoon like this one it's a little more wide in here and when it's time to cut try to to do this shape
the, to trim it, the only thing that I did was to remove the yellow from the marker. And I think this one is a smaller. I'm gonna place them one on top of the other. If I have any extra, I will remove. Yes, I have a little bit extra here. And I will remove that. And that way they're perfect. That's because I still have a little bit of a yellow there. There. I remove all the yellow. And this one, you see, you still have the yellow marker. If you want to remove that, you can do that. But they will be a little bit more narrow. I may do that. to make a little more uh, pointy. That with the roundness on the top. You see? With the hair glue gun, we're gonna glue it there in place and then we're gonna place them on our body. I'm gonna trim a little bit of the yellow in the lower part, like this one. That way I have a better shape to it because it's too straight I need this one. So I have the ears ready to go. You see, I put a little bit of glue there and then I give it the shape. And then we're gonna place the ears. I'm gonna place them here, like this. Like I have the other one. For the nose, it's really easy because you get one of these corner and then you're gonna round them a little bit in the top here. And that's it. It will be like that. I already marked where I'm gonna place the nose. Now with a hot glue, I'm gonna place it in there. Well, this is the end result of those cute little Easter bunnies. Very adorable, very easy to do. Perfect for Easter, for decoration, to put in the Easter basket, to donate to other kids. They're adorable. And next week I'll be teaching you how to do this cute little chick, but it's to do as well. And I hope you guys like it and give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber. And if you make these cute little bunnies and you want to send me some pictures, you can do it through my Facebook page, Rubinette Crochet Tejido, or my Instagram, Rubinette Crochet Tejido. Please share my video with friends and family. That way you help me grow here on YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.